So first and foremost, if you do live stream, one of the new things that they've added is the TikTok live search, TikTok live rank, TikTok live products, and TikTok live creators, right? As you can see, these are great opportunities if your main way of selling products is going live because that is a massive opportunity. Now, I personally don't do that. I like to create the videos and then kind of upload them and just let them do their work. I also like to take the affiliates approach and, and get affiliates to promote for me. However, I am obviously sleeping on the live videos. They are a massive gold mine and they were probably the easiest way in my opinion to actually sell products on TikTok. The only trade-off is you do have to go live. You do have to be on camera. You do have to be talking about the actual product. Now you don't have to be on face. Of course, you can just be kind of showcasing the, the product on camera, but that does take your time. And it's not as scalable in my opinion as the other methods. It's a little bit more, the floor is higher, right? You can definitely earn some good money, but the ceiling is a lot lower. Whereas with videos and affiliates, the floor might be a lot lower, but the ceiling is certainly a lot higher in my opinion, because it's more scalable. But nonetheless, TikTok Live, great opportunity to sell products. You can see everything from the top live creators to the top live current products and why they're working. And again, you can get a lot of insight from those specific products and what those creators are doing. So you can just emulate what's working for them. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. So check that out if you're into lives. Again, that's not my specialty. I don't do that on TikTok. But again, you could you probably should, and it's something that you should look into. Now, if we go to creators, you can obviously see the top creators in each specific niche. So if we did like a creator search, you could actually search in somebody's specific profile here and then find all the information about them. If for whatever reason you're scrolling TikTok manually, if you set up a profile to suggest you different things within your niche, which a lot of people actually recommend and is very smart, and you happen to see a creator that's crushing it with a specific video, you can type their name into this search bar right here and obviously find all the data all their best products, all their best videos, and what's working for them, but most importantly, why? Again, that way you can emulate it for yourself, reverse engineer their best strategies, their best products, and how they're selling them, and then implement that for yourself. You can also find trending creators as well. So if you go here, you can look in any of the actual categories here. You can expand it and go into any specific category or subcategory. You can obviously make it within a specific date and time period. So if you wanted it within the last 30 days or last month, obviously, you could just select that. If you wanted it within the last week or the last day, again, you could select that. And that's gonna show you a bunch of different creators their follower account, the number of actual likes that they've gained, a number of different insights on these specific creators and why they're actually doing well. So you can see if they're following a specific trend and why, so that you, maybe you can implement that in your product video strategy and piggyback off a trend that's going viral recently or what's working for them right now. So that's a cool little way to approach it. But my favorite way to actually utilize this is by going into the product tab. And so here you can see the top selling products again in any specific category. And this is really where the gold mine is because it's so easy to find these. Let's, for example, say that you were looking in the pet supplies category, right? You had a page in pet supplies or, you know, a cat page or dot, whatever the case is, you could find the specific category and then sort through to find the top selling products in your category on TikTok shop right now and TikTok affiliates and why see what creators within that specific product are creating videos that are selling that product successfully right now. So for example, let's look through as you can see this freeze ball right here. I don't know what that is, but let's click it. That's the top product. This is the top product today. So you'd probably want to go weekly so you can extrapolate it out a little bit longer and kind of see a little bit more data because for whatever reason, that might just be running like a crazy sale today. So let's actually not look at that one. We'll look at a dog grooming vacuum. This one is number two in pet supplies. As you can see here, the viral index and popularity uh, score pop up. So it literally tells you what these things are, right? So viral index is literally the past seven days, right? Sales have grown rapidly on this actual product and they're expected to continue growing for some time. The larger value is the greater growth potential of this product, right? So it's looking like it's trending recently and it's gonna continue to trend. So the viral index is giving this a 95 out of 100, pretty solid product to go after. Now, popularity score is calculated by sales gain in the past seven days and the number of shoppable videos and lives, a larger uh, obviously indicates the potential for popularity, okay? Now, in my opinion, you want the popularity score to be lower if you're looking for a less competitive product, right? So you want something where the viral index is high, popularity index score is relatively low because that's gonna indicate a high potential selling product that's going viral with some videos, right? But not that popular where a lot of people are creating lives on it currently or creating a lot of videos on it currently, right? So for example, if they were both 95, probably not something that you might wanna go after because 
if you did, there, yes, there, it's potentially going to go viral. Yes, it's getting a lot of sales. Potentially, those are both indicators. But also, there's a lot of people creating videos on it, so it's going to be super competitive. Tough for you to stand out and carve out your piece of that customer pot. But this looks pretty good. The popularity score is a 35 out of 100. Viral index score is a 95. So this one, right off the bat, looks like a solid indicator. Okay. Now, total units sold are right around 70,000. And this, keep in mind, is only within the last 28 days, right? So if you wanted to extrapolate it out to 90 days, you could obviously click that, 180 days, or even the last week as well. All the information is here for you, right? There's 4,000, uh, a little bit over 4,000 shoppable videos here. If we extrapolate it out to 90 days, which is the last three months, you want to see that this is pretty consistent sales, in my opinion, most of the time, right? Or it's on the uptrend slightly. What you don't want to typically see, in my experience, is a strong spike upward at the very end or a strong spike downward at the very end because a strong spike downward obviously is going, or even like a downward trajectory consistently, because that's gonna indicate that demand is decreasing slowly over time for whatever reason, and probably something that you wanna avoid. But on the other hand, if it's got a spike at the end really quickly, or even if it spikes up and then comes back down, that could be for a number of different factors. And it's something that you really don't want to chase that volatility. You want to look at something that's selling consistently and kind of on the uptrend slowly, because that's going to indicate increased demand on this specific product. So overall, the actual sales have been pretty consistent on this product for the past 90 days or so. If we go last 28 days, again, pretty consistent. The data right here at the end is a little skewed, but even at the end here, it's still 11,000 got up pretty high. Let's look at the last seven days. So this obviously the last day or two here, the results are going to be skewed. So don't take that into account because they haven't gotten all the sales data back yet. So always at the end of the short week graph, don't take that into consideration. But if you extrapolate it out again to 90 days, you can see that, yeah, it's going slightly down here, but it also came slightly down here at the end, slightly down here, slightly down here. And then again, kind of even down. Overall, within the last 90 days, there's only 904 shoppable videos. So you can look at live streams and see who's actually selling this product and what the results are. You could also look at the affiliates here and who's actually promoting this product as an affiliate and what their results are. You can look at similar products and you can also look at the videos that are responsible for selling this on their own shop, right? So for example, let's look at the top affiliate here. He's sold uh, over 5,000 units of this actual product for over $305,000 in uh, actual sales, which is kind of crazy. He does have 1.1 million followers, so that's not a realistic indicator because most of us aren't going to have that many followers. However, these people, which is also a great opportunity, seem like they have a decent amount of sales here with not that many followers. Like this person has 12.5 thousand. This person has just over 20. This person has just under 30. This person has just over 30. So all of these people are still selling this pretty well, even though they don't have a big follower account. So Again, we're looking for that consistency. What we don't want to see is the first one or two creators that are promoting this product getting all the sales, and then there's no other pieces of the pie. Because that might just be because they're popular or they have the audience for that or whatever. What we do want to see if we're looking for a good product to actually find and promote is a bunch of creators within the top 10, top 20 that are all equally able to promote this product because that's going to be a good indicator that if we hop in, we also have a decent shot. Again, make sure that it's not oversaturated. Again, you can see that all from the data if you scroll up by how many shoppable videos they are, by what the popularity score is versus the viral index, how many units are sold, and how much it's actually you know, sold rev wise versus the amount of shoppable videos. So all that's gonna be indicators of high sales and low potential competition on this product, which is a good indicator. Again, you also wanna look at the content distribution as well. So I typically, because I don't do live, I like to stay away from the ones where it's pretty much all sold from live. This is a great product it looks like because 81% of the sales are all coming from direct videos on the platform. So another good indicator. But let's scroll down and look at this second girl's profile right here. And we'll look at her specific videos that are responsible for selling this product. And as you can see here, you can look at all her videos and then look through the videos to find her actually promoting that specific dog grooming product. And whatever product is doing really well, you can emulate that, take the hook, which is that first like one to three, one to five seconds, because that's what's typically responsible in most cases outside of the product for stopping people in their tracks and kind of getting them to give the video a little bit more of a shot. So steal for lack of a better word, their hook, but then obviously take their video and make it into your own words, but make it very similar. And then you're making a similar video, selling a similar product that you know is hot and has a, a viral potential and a potential for sales. And the more you do that, the better chance there is obviously that if you're making videos 
videos like that, you will also get a decent amount of sales if you do it consistently. And so that's how the product research works on TikTok shop. You want to first and foremost, find a product that's selling well, then make sure that there's not a ridiculous amount of competition. Then again, extrapolate out the sales data over like 30 to 90 to even 180 days and make sure that it's been selling consistently and there hasn't been either an up spike or a down spike. And then look at the top creators that are promoting that product and see what specific videos they're actually using to sell that product and emulate what they're doing right. You do not need to reinvent the wheel. So as always, guys, I really hope this helps. Fast Moss has been a game changer for product research for both TikTok shop when you're drop shipping your own products, but also TikTok affiliates when you are promoting other people's products and making a commission. So if you'd like to try Fast Moss, you can do so completely free through that first link in the description. There is a free trial, I believe, for seven days. So you don't have to pay for it. You can just test it out and see if you like it. And if you don't, cancel. If you do, stick with it. But really hope this helps.